What's up? It is me, Adam. First of all, thank you so much for joining uh, the channel today. I just watched Peter Pan and Wendy over on Disney+. Plus. It was just released this weekend, I believe. Um, over on IMDb, the ratings just are not good. It has a 4.3 out of 10. Um, definitely one of the worst live-action Disney movies um, that they have made, the remakes. Uh, they've been making a lot of remakes lately. Um, a lot of them just haven't been good. You have uh, Pinocchio as a recent. Beauty and the Beast, you have um, Aladdin, uh, Peach Dragon, Cinderella was kind of started back in 2015, Mulan, and a lot of those movies I just don't feel are great, um, which gave me not a lot of um, hope for this one. Um, I did like the original Peter Pan, so this one was a live action from the animated uh, Peter Pan movie from 1953. Um, there have been a lot of definitely remakes and revisions of Peter Pan. You have the 1991 Hook with Robin Williams and Dustin Hoffman. Personally, I think that one was one of the best. And there's also uh, Peter Pan from 2003. I do not remember watching that one as much, but I do remember liking it and it being pretty good. Um, but so we got 2023 Disney Plus release releases Peter Pan and Wendy. So this one is basically kind of the same as the original with some different uh, twists. So like in the original, Wendy and her siblings, um, Peter Pan comes to their house. They fly away to Neverland. Um, once they are there, they run into Captain Hook and his uh, and then the pirates there. Um, they get shot at from by Captain Hook and eventually. Uh, Wendy's two siblings, uh, I forget their names for some reason, that's just now leaving my head, get captured. Um, and then after that, uh, once they get captured, Captain Hunt goes to kill them in a cave with the rising tide, but Peter Pan and the Lost Boys turn out to save them. After that, they go to Peter Pan and the Lost Boys hideout, their home, where Wendy sings them a song. With that song, she inadvertently, uh, lets Captain Hook find them. He finds them, captures all the Lost Boys, um, the kids, and they believe that they killed Peter Pan. If I haven't mentioned already, spoiler alerts. Um, but they capture uh, all of them, they take them onto the boat and make Wendy walk the plank. From there, Wendy jumps off, they don't hear a splash, Wendy starts flying. Um, because of Tinkerbell, Peter Pan shows up, uh, Tiger Lily shows up, they save the day, and they at the end of the day, Captain Hook um, I guess is good at the end, and all the Lost Boys go home and stay with Wendy. Peter Pan returns to Neverland and kind of rekindles, I'm guessing, rekindles friendship with Captain Hook, which is one of the differences from the original movie. So I'm going to start with my dislikes of the movie. The first is the casting for Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Um, I don't know the name of the guy who acts Peter Pan, but I just couldn't get into the character at all. I didn't know if it was him. Um, the way he was directed or what I just wasn't a fan of that casting choice Secondly, we have Jude Law's Captain Hook at first I didn't like it and I don't know if it was because of him or maybe because of His wardrobe or his costume or whatever, but I feel like throughout the movie I did end up liking his character um, and him as Captain Hook more and more It's just the first kind of half of the movie. I couldn't buy or get into it, but after that it won uh, pretty well next is the cinematography there is a few times where it just got kind of cheesy and I didn't think it was great. There's one of them where Tiger Lily is running to save the day and uh, Peter Pan's shadow is with her and she's running by these cliffs and um, you see Peter Pan's shadow. It's like huge, just goes kind of behind her and runs and it just looks like a spotlight is shined on and it just, it just doesn't feel right right there. And there's another, a few other times where they'll show the... Um, who they're trying to like go focus on someone and then everything around them is kind of blurry kind of like one of those instagram filters i thought that was kind of weird and took me out of the movie as well um but that's kind of all of my dislikes so these are my likes um the things i did like about the movie so once again going back to casting um ever anderson was casted as wendy i thought she did a great job and also jim gaffigan was smee um there wasn't a lot of camera time from him but overall i thought he did uh, great as smee um and some, something else that they added to this story that they didn't have in the begin or in the original, which maybe maybe they did and I just don't remember, was the reason Captain Hook was mad at Peter Pan was because Captain Hook missed his mom, missed his life, so Peter Pan banished him. Where uh, Captain Hook then grew up and came back, where his real name was James. 
Um, so that was why kind of the story plot in this movie. I know in the original, I think it was because Peter Pan cut off his hand and fed it to the alligator, which I still think happened in this, but it had that little bit of extra added into it. And another thing that I thought was pretty cool is one of the Lost Boys, one of the actors that they casted had Down Syndrome. I look, I work a lot with um, kids, adults with special needs. I do a lot with the Special Olympics and Miracle League. And just seeing that cast, I thought he did a great job. Um, and just seeing that representation in the movie I thought was amazing. And I really enjoyed that part. And also the last thing I liked was that final fight scene um, with the ship rising up in the water to fight. Um, I mean, it's... They're kids, so the choreography wasn't the best, but I enjoyed it. Um, overall, I do think the movie was better than what the ratings did. I still didn't give it a great rating. I think I gave it a 5.5 out of 10, or a 2.5 stars out of 5. Rewatchability, I'm going to give it as a low. There might be a time when maybe my daughter gets older and she wants to watch it. I'll rewatch it with her, but I don't think I'm ever going to choose um, to sit there and watch it again. Let me know, though, if there's anything you disagree with me on this review or if you agree with me. Um, if you've seen it, haven't seen it, let me know. Let me know what Peter Pan adaption is your favorite. Um, and also, it is one of my goals this year to make it to 1,000 subscribers. So if you can hit that subscribe button, comment below, and share, that would mean a lot. Peace.